Keith, from deep snow in the mountains to slick highway travel, Thursday's nor'easter was treacherous across much of the state. And one of the most obvious examples was in Casco Bay, where a boat broke from its mooring and wrecked on the shore across the bay. That shore is where we find mm -hmm. New Center Maine's David Guildford with the latest tonight. David? Well, Chris, during Thursday's nor'easter, the sea tore the MV Destiny from her mooring just over my shoulder off in the horizon there near Peaks Island, carried her here to Cape Elizabeth and utterly splintered her on the rocks. Much of that debris remains here on Wednesday on Cliff House Beach, just feet from the tide, while someone has been stacking larger pieces right where I'm standing up near the road. The Peaks Fire Department called the Coast Guard as the boat floated around the bay on Thursday. The, the Coasties quickly found the owner to make sure no one was on board, and they're now making sure nothing is polluting the water from the wreckage. We have no reports at this time of any active discharge or sheen from the vessel. Um, there are a couple of en inboard engines that, that originally obviously powered the vessel that, that we are you know, keeping an eye on, but you know, our, our Coast Guard authorities lie with pollution and pollution response. As he implied, as for the debris, that's not the Coast Guard's jurisdiction. We, as of this hour, are not sure of any deadline that the owner of this boat is facing, but it's their responsibility to get this out of here and get this shore looking like a shore again. Chris? All right, David Guildford, live in Cape Elizabeth tonight. Thanks so much.